Today at Wicked Warnings, we pay homage to one of the original guys to use lighting and branding, the chicken lights. If you don't know what chicken lights are, throw it into Google and look it up. How you doing? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment, as well as auxiliary lighting, like what you see there under the doors of this particular Super Duty. There's actually five lights, you just can't see the farthest one forward because of the mud guard, the wheel well liner there. This particular truck got a couple of different options of strobe lighting. First off, running on switch one is our mini LED bar. That's a 16 inch size up there. It's mounted with our drill free mount right there on the back of the cab. You can see some flashing happening underneath the tailgate as well. That's the back end. This customer requested that Switch 1 would run their overhead bar and the Finex strips that we have underneath the tailgate. I want to mention right away that if you want information on any of these products, please make sure to check out this EI logo right here. And uh, if not, you can always look at the Show Me More down on the bottom. And all of the links to products will be listed in the description. If you'd like more information on this build, make sure you reference build number 14889. That is uh, 14889. That's the build number on this particular shop job. And as you can see, Switch 2 is running our Wicked Warnings Auto Flasher module on the white mirror lights, as well as our Low Dome LED HAW Duo in the fog bezel. Now, the fog bezel, we've usually put our TIR3 or our LIN6 on other trucks, but this is a 2020 brand new front end and the fog bezel is shaped differently so much like the uh, older f-150s we drill a one inch hole and back mount any color low dome hideaway duo that you like right there in the fog bezel now it's primary primarily side warning this is a plow truck we skip the grill lights by customer request because the blade will be in front and they'll probably be be blocked anyways but those fog bezels really do help with the side warning Here's a better shot of that mini bar. When you mount the mini bar on the drill free mount like that, often I'm asked, how much clearance do I lose? So as far as how high that mini bar sticks up above the roof of the truck, it is three and a half inches. So uh, that's the recommended distance. I think the bar is actually just a little bit below that. So three and a half inches is what you need above your roof if you want to run this setup for the mini bar. You can see the fog lights there set to alternate. Not only are they alternating in the front, but they are synchronized with the rear TIR3s to alternate sideways on the sides as well. The, front, the mirror mod uh, auto flasher kit there and the white lights. Here's another view of this package. This is a relatively easy package to install also. Uh, the front end bumper lights are very easy. The uh, drill free mount with the mini bar on the top, extremely easy. The auto flasher module on those white mirror lights, you do need to have those white mirror lights. You need the switches. And I'll show a picture of those switches. If, if you don't have those switches, you won't have these white flashing lights. You must have those switches. Now here you can see a little bit better about the alternation I spoke of earlier on the side of the truck. We have the LED HAW Duo here in the fog light synchronized to alternate with the TIR3 way on the back bumper back here. So that way we get a clear picture of exactly where the front and the back of this vehicle is when you're a couple thousand feet away at night looking at it sideways. We also have our Thin-X LIN series in amber white right here in the badges, a very popular spot. As you can see here, the thin X badge light comes off backwards off the truck at about a 45 degree angle and just really covers the whole rear area here quite well. Got a nice alternating color change flash there. All right, so before I show you the back, I want to show you something on this truck that was actually pretty fun and uh, interesting and quite proud of this build. Uh, the chicken lights you see there, and the reason I call them chicken is uh, the chicken light is I'm paying homage to one of the original users of branding in lighting. And that uh, that's Mr. Chicken Man, who used to put the running lights on the semi-trailers that delivered the chicken that America grew up eating. And uh, that was one of the first people to ever use lighting and branding. So since then, they've been called chicken lights when you see a lot of them run down the side of trucks like this. And uh, this was requested by this customer and we wanted to give him a little bit more he asked is there a way to integrate them into signals as well now we could have went the easy way 
and simply gave him a low high trailer type light where it would have a dim circuit for parking and a brighter circuit for signal but i wanted to give the maximum amount of pop and effect so we did things a little bit different this is a single on off light and we've manipulated it to work not only as a parking light but also as a turn signal both with the parking lights on or off as you can see right now the parking lights are on and so are the running lights on the running board i'm going to go press the four-way switch so you can see what the turn signal does to the running board when the parking lights are on so as you can see when you activate the turn signal it wigwags the running board light from the front turn signal you can see when the front turn signal goes off the running board lights alternate back and forth so that way we get a nice flash and a, basically an extra turn signal extra indication that he's turning on the running board well what happens during the day like this if the parking lights are off and he's just cruising around during the day do the running board lights do anything then they do they activate with the turn signal so you not only get your signal during the day but you also get your signal at night and you also get your steady burn at night and you're getting an on off on off flash both day and night not a bright dim bright dim nighttime flash which is easier to miss i wanted to give an unmistakable signal of on off on off plus i just like doing things different so it was all of that that's how i did it all right so enough talking about that uh, let me pull the truck forward and show you what we did around the back of it so first thing that you'll notice is our thin x strips now those are shorter 15 5 inch thin x strips it's an amber white combination mounted with a 3m vhb tape provided with the strip and don't forget the promoter you can get away by using a little bit of acetone if you're careful but the 3m adhesion promoter is better and you can find that locally at any auto parts store most major manufacturers all carry it you can see above that again that mini light bar doing its job loud and proud you can see in the back here also our TIR threes also alternate side to side in the rear as well as side to side on the sides just like the front now you catch just a little bit of the T threes here on the straight back shot but here's where they really shine uh, this is for the rear warning going out into the street backing up a lot of times plow trucks are doing that backing out into traffic and that's exactly what those T threes on the side of the tail lights really shine at doing I'm going to close the video here, show you a couple still shots of the lights. We smoked all these lights, this particular shot, just to show you how that drill-free mount works and how it lines up there on the new roofs. Very nice, very easy install. And I'm going to show you some photos of all these lights that we custom smoked in-house. Of course, like custom smoking is uh, something that we offer here in our shop. And uh, here's the results. There's your side badge. That's your Thin X L-I-N in a smoke in the side badge. kind of disappears. I may take a tiny little paintbrush and paint those screws black. Here's a shot from a little farther back for you. You can see it really blends away, especially on a black truck, of course. There's a shot of that TIR3 with a little bit of smoke on it as well. Here's your mount on a T3 right there on the plastic. You can also fit a Lin 6 in that spot. And if you were so inclined, I suppose you might be able to drill a LED Ha Duo into here, but I haven't tried that yet. And yes, I'm going to be putting hideaways in there real soon. And I do have a video that shows you all about what's inside these blind spot taillights. So make sure you check the link to that video where I do an in-depth analysis inside of these taillights for you. Back to the T3. There's your thin X strips mounted right under the tailgate. I usually try to go just above the plastic bumper edge here. And to be quite honest, I sit on the floor when I mount them and I sight them perfect with the tailgate itself. And then I step back about 50 feet and look at it about a couple dozen times to make sure it's straight. And when I'm happy with it, I leave it and I set the VHB by pushing down hard on it for a count of about 90 seconds. That's important with the VHB. Not only do you want to prime it, but when you finally find that you're in the right location, you want to put some firm pressure on that light for a 90 second count. And that makes a big, big difference when you mount these. We ran all our wiring right behind the bumper there, left it kind of easily accessible, tied up behind the license plate. Now, alrighty, speaking of that fog pocket we talked about earlier, this is our LED HAW Duo. Low dome, one inch hole, 
back mounted, glued in place with a little bit of RTV silicone and smoked. Obviously you can't see it right there, but now you can see it. It's an amber color. And now you can kind of see why we went with the one inch duo there because of the radius that they put in here with their little design. A T3 doesn't really fit that well. So uh, the duo here looks really nice. If you have a 2020 Super Duty with this style fog, there are two style of fog lights. Make sure that you have this style and you'll have this style bezel because the other LED fog lights are not the same. And lastly, the elusive mirror switches. If you want those white flashing mirrors, you must have these switches. Without these switches, you don't have those lights. So make sure you have those switches if you want to get those white mirrors flashing the way they are in this video. I thank you for watching Wicked Warnings. Keep in mind we're your number one source for all of your construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting needs, all your custom wiring and electrical needs, all of your accessory lighting like those step bar needs. Anything you want, we got it. And uh, make sure you check the description of this video for links to all these products. Keep us in mind, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you for hanging in there. We're approaching 11 minutes. So if you're still listening, I applaud your patience. See you guys in the next video.